In this video, I will show you how to quickly and easily open long and short positions on KuCoin. If you want to get the best signup bonus possible on KuCoin, you simply have to go down to the video description, click on the link and you will get to exactly this page right here and you can pick up to $700 in signup bonuses. To create an account and claim your reward, simply enter your details right here and then you're ready to go. Once you have created an account and you log on for the first time, the page will look like this and to deposit money first, you simply can go up here and click on deposit. Then you need to choose the coin that you want to deposit, choose a network right here and then you will get the address down here. So simply send this crypto over this network to this address and then you will have it right here on your account. Of course, that works the same for any other cryptocurrency as well. The second option is of course to deposit with fiat money. So if you click on here, you can choose your fiat currency that you want to deposit. Let's choose Euro in this case. Then you have two different payment providers, for example, AdCash, but there you have a small fee or also just a regular SEPA bank transfer with only one Euro of a fee. Then once you've completed your verification right here, you will be presented with a bank details for your bank transfer, which consists of a recipient number, a IBAN and a reference code. These three things you need to include in your bank transfer from your own bank. And then the money will arrive right here within one to two days. If your bank supports SEPA instant transfer, it can also appear within a few minutes right here. That's how you can deposit Euro and then hold Euro on KuCoin. The second option is to simply buy crypto with your fiat on this platform. You can use your credit or debit card for that. Simply click on here, choose your currency and type in the amount you want to buy and if you click on here simply add your card right here so you enter your card details and then just click down here on buy and you can buy the cryptocurrency that you've chosen right here so very simple to check if your money has arrived you simply can go up here to assets and then click on funding so here you can always check if any money that you have deposited has already arrived. Once you have money deposited right here on your account, make sure that you have it in US dollar tether. So if you have other crypto deposited, you can just go up here to trade and then click on convert and then choose the currency that you have deposited and choose US dollar tether. And then you can convert that crypto into US dollar tether, click on confirm. And then because you need to make sure that you have it in US dollar tether, the other option is of course, if you have deposited with fiat. So if you have for example, Euro right here. First at your Euro balance, go right here to transfer and then transfer to your trading account because then we can buy USDT with it. So simply go in here, choose Euro or your other fiat balance, choose maximum confirm. Then you will have it here in your trading account and then you can go up here to trade, spot trade, go up here to the trading pair, choose spot, fiat, and then go here to USDT Euro. And then here on the right side, choose spot, buy, click on market and enter the amount of euro you want to convert into US dollar tether. You can also choose, for example, 100% and then just click on buy USDT. Once you've done that, you can just go back here to your assets. Let's go back to our funding account. Depending on what you've done, you will have the USDT in your trading or your funding account. Simply check where it is and then just go here on the right and click on transfer and now transfer it from the account where it's currently in to your futures account. You can see US dollar tether is selected. That's the coin we need. Click on maximum, click on confirm. And then if we go right here in our futures account, this is where we need the US dollar tether to then leverage trade with it. All right, so once you're here, we can now look at the trading platform. And to do that, we simply go up here to derivatives and then click on USDTM margin contracts. And let's choose Bitcoin, for example. All right, so then we get to this trading platform right here. Let's go through all the elements step by step. First of all, you can choose the trading pair up here. So if you want to trade a different coin, you can simply search for it right here, Ethereum or whichever one you would like. In this case, I'm going to stick with Bitcoin for now. Down below right here, I can see the price chart. Of course, you can get rid of this window if you want to do so. And up here, you can also choose different time frames. On the right side, you will have the order book right here. And if you scroll down a little bit down here, you will see your open positions. We'll get into that in just a bit as well as your open orders or your order history. Here on the right side, you can see your assets available on your futures account that we've transferred right here. And if you scroll up a little bit here on the right side, this is where we can control, which means open our trades. We can choose a leverage, order type, position size, take profit, stop loss, and of course, open long and short positions. All right, so let's check all of that out and open our first position. Let's start off with a simple long position. First of all, up here, we can choose our leverage. As you can see, you can choose up to 125x leverage. In this case, I'm gonna stick with five and click on confirm. Then I can choose the order type. I can choose between a limit or a market order. Limit order would mean I could type in a certain price. For example, let's say I wanna add it at $66,000. 
then only if this price down here would be hit by the price, then my order would be executed. The other option, which I would also recommend, is just choose market order because then you cannot type in a price because the market order will immediately execute at the current market price. Next up, we can choose a position size. First, I would recommend you if you click on here to choose USDT by value because then it will always be displayed as the entire position size. Click on confirm, so you have that selected. And let's say, for example, I want to open a $1,000 position size. As you can see down here, it shows me how much it costs of my money. It only costs me $200. Here I can see my available balance. It costs me $200 because 200 times a 5x leverage equals $1,000 of position size. So this is how the margin, which is also how much it costs me of my own capital in this trade, times the leverage equals the entire position size. Once I'm happy with that, I can also add a take profit or stop loss right here. So if I click on here, you can see I can type in a price. For example, let's say I want at $75,000, I want to be my take profit and my stop loss, I want it to be at, let's say $69,000. And then I can just click on buy long, click on buy, and my long position has been opened. You can see it immediately right here in the chart where you entered and you also can see your stop loss. If you scroll down a little bit, here you can also see now we have our position. Let's go through all of these things we can see here step by step. First of all, I can see it's a Bitcoin trade. It's a long trade because it's in green. It's a 5x leverage. I can see the amount of the position size in Bitcoin and in US dollar tether. I can see the price where I entered the position and the current price. And I can see my liquidation price. Liquidation price means if I wouldn't have that stop loss right here, currently you have one, but if we don't have one and the price would fall this much to this price, then this trade would be liquidated by the platform, which means it would be closed automatically and we would lose all of our margin in this trade, which is our own capital, the $200 that we've put into this trade. So this is what the margin is. You can also see it right here. You can also edit that. If you click on here, you could add margin or reduce the margin to effectively change the leverage or also the margin. So if I would add another $50 to my position, you can see the margin would increase by $50 and my leverage would go down to a Forex leverage and also my liquidation price would be lower. On the other hand, if I reduce margin, and let's say I take $50 out, you can see the margin decreases by $50 and my leverage would increase and also of course my liquidation price. Let's go out here. Here I can see my current opened profit or loss. The price has gone down a little bit, so I'm $1 in a loss. If I take parts of the position as well as fees will be displayed right here. And here I could also add a take profit or stop loss. You know, we've already add one that you can see right here. Maybe you're wondering why you cannot see it right here because we set it up at the beginning. But if you go here to your stop orders, you can see all of them right here. So these are my take profit and stop loss orders. Of course, I can cancel them in here as well or I could just add new ones in here too. This is even better actually, because I could also say like 50% the profit and I can directly see how much profit I would make and the price is calculated as well as my stop loss, let's say 15% in a loss. I would make $28 of a loss and it automatically calculates the price for me. I can confirm that. And therefore, as you can see, I've added new take profit and stop losses. Checking your old orders, you can simply go in here. And of course you could just go ahead and cancel these old ones. Let's do that real quick. So we only have the last ones right here that we added in here. Perfect, so you can cancel them here at any time, of course, too, and also add new ones. All right, so now we can, of course, wait until our take profit or stop loss is hit, or just at any time close the position. If you click here on market, you can choose how much percent of the position you wanna close. In this case, I'm just gonna go for a 100%, close the entire position, make a small profit and click on confirm. Now it gives me a warning that I also need to cancel my take profit and stop loss orders. I can just click on cancel order and then these will be canceled and the position will be closed. Let's also check out how it works for a short position. It simply works exactly the same. Just go for market, type in the amount. Let's leave that out for now and click on sell short, click on sell. And then I've opened my short position pretty much. Only difference is now it is in red. The rest of it stays exactly the same. I can also see my liquidation price now. That's a difference is now above the current price, of course, because we're making a loss if the price goes up and a profit if the price goes down. So therefore, if I want to add a take profit in here and I say like 50% of profit, you can see this price is of course below the current price. And if I say my stop loss is 15%, it's above it. If I click on confirm, you can see these two numbers, but it pretty much does everything for you. So here's your stop loss. And down here is your take profit at $63,000. Closing the position works exactly the same. Just go here to market, click 100%, confirm, and you're out of the market again. Don't forget to create an account on KuCoin by using the link down from the video description to get up to $700 in sign-up bonuses. And if you have any other questions, feel free to ask them in the comments.